Hi guys, welcome to HitFix on Uproxx. Game of Thrones is nigh, so we thought it would be fun to bring in some Game of Thrones experts to debate some of the more pressing questions surrounding season seven. Maud Garrett is the founder of Geek Bomb. She's also been the host of a number of Game of Thrones podcasts. We also have Dan Casey, senior editor at Nerdist Industries. This is how it's gonna work, ladies and gentlemen. You each have 30 seconds to answer a question about Game of Thrones, and then you have an additional option to rebut the other person's statements. When your time is up, I'm going to yell Hodor, Hodor. and that means you have to stop. Without further ado, who will suffer the most shocking death in season seven and why? Maud, I'm going to begin with you and go. Uh, I'm going to say Cersei and shocking for not the way that you didn't see it coming because obviously the last seven seasons have been building towards Cersei dying. We know that she's in the worst position at the moment. She doesn't belong to lead the throne of Westeros, so she's going to get it. But the shockingness of it all will be how she dies. Tyrion will be the one that kills her. Because he has to top cross bolt to his father on the toilet, I think we're going to up that and it's going to be more shocking because the more shocking is, the more satisfying it will be for Dan Casey, your turn. Go. Now, the most shocking death in Game of Thrones season seven is going to be Jon Snow. Now I know what you're saying. <laughs> shocking. Didn't he already die? Yes, he did, dear reader. <laughs> but that's the beauty of it. You don't expect it. He, he has this plot armor that he's going to be fine, that he's covered in this chain mail of un unkillability, invincibility. No. He's not only going to be murdered again, but he's going to be reborn as the Night King. He's going to be the ice in this song of ice and fire, <laughs> and he is going to lead the forces of darkness and have everyone come together Hodor. to put him down once and for all. So, to rebut that one, John has specifically said, if I die again, do not bring me back. That is an order. Don't bring me back. So that completely debunks the fact that he's going to die and come back. You say that debunks it? No. They're, like, his friends aren't going to be the one bringing him back. It's going to be the children of the forest or the whites. Just, it's going to happen. Trust me on this because we already know he's going to go back beyond the wall this season, fight the forces of darkness head on. What's going to happen out there? It's not going to go so well for old Johnny boy. He's going to be reborn as an agent of evil. That is my urdent, my, are you combined earnest and ardent to make urdent? <laughs> I'm standing with that one. I believe it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We will be doing more of these throughout the season, so please keep coming back to HitFix on Uproxx for more fun Game of Thrones debates. Maud, where can people find you? At Maud Garrett on all social media, but if you want to subscribe to my channel, it's youtube.com forward slash geekbomb. Dan? You can find me on Nerdist.com or on Twitter at Dan Casey. And I'm at Miria the Jedi on all the social media. Thank you for watching.